ABCD is a rhombus in which the altitude from D to side AB bisects AB. So, in a rhombus, what we are going to draw? We are going to draw an altitude. You know that altitude means height. Okay. So, from point D, we are going to draw it and that is going to bisect AB. Find the angles of the rhombus. So, we need to find out the angles of the rhombus. Okay. So, first we will do, we will take the diagram. Okay. So, this is the diagram. So, the, this is the required diagram. Now, we can start the solution. So, in rhombus, we know that all sides are equal. So, let us write in rhombus. In rhombus, the rhombus is A, B, C, D. A, B, C, D. A, B is equals to B, C is equals to C, D is equals to D, A which is equals to x. We are taking this as x. Okay. We will write let. Now, we know that means as per the question given, they said that altitude is bisecting AB. We will take that point BE. Since altitude, altitude from D bisects a B at E. A E is equals to E B is equals to because uh, it, it is bisecting. So that means these two parts will be equal, which is half of A B. So half of A B. Half of A B means we took all the sides as X. So, it will be half of x. Next, since we know that altitude DE is bisecting AB at E, okay. When it is bisecting, so this triangle will become, this triangle will be split into two equal halves. So, when it is splitting into two equal halves, that means these two triangles will be isosceles triangles okay let us write down this triangle see this and this are isos this is only adb is isosceles triangle altitude de bisects a B at point E. Therefore, therefore, A D B is isosceles triangle. Isosceles. When it is isosceles, we know that in isosceles triangle, minimum two sides should be equal. So here, therefore. AD and AB both are equal. AD and we actually having because of rhombus AD and AB equal. And because of this bisection, we got AD and BD equal. So AD which is equals to BD. But from the property of rhombus, we are having AB is equals to a b okay uh, let us write down all sides of a rhombus are of a rhombus are equal all sides of a rhombus are equal that means for this triangle we got all sides equal so, ADB in triangle ADB, we got AD, AD is equals to AB is equals to BD. 
therefore triangle there is triangle ADB is an equilateral triangle so if it is a equilateral triangle then we know that each angle in an equilateral triangle is 60 degrees so let us write down therefore angle DAB is equals to angle ABD is equals to angle ADB this all are equals to 60 degrees so if we see the diagram diagonals are bisecting that means the other half will be 60 so we will get 60 plus 60 120 so let us write down diagonal of rhombus bisects the angle through which it passes so therefore that means the angle which we are saying ADC ADC is actually twice of a 60 degrees okay so twice of angle a d b which is 2 into 60 so 260 is are 120 degrees we got a d c and one more property is there opposite angles of a rhombus are equal so thus we can write angle d a b is equals to angle DCB DCB and angle ABC is equals to angle ADC this we got because we know that opposite angles are equal in rhombus so therefore we will get angle a is equals to angle c which is equals to 60 degrees and angle b is equals to angle d which is equals to 120 degrees